is three five-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of four wins and one loss. He stands 194 centimeters tall and weighs already 107.7 kilograms. Representing Lockdown MMA and fighting out of Lithuania, please welcome Pavel the Experiment Dalyko. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a perfect professional record of eight wins and no losses. He stands 190 centimeters tall and weighs already 118.3 kilograms. Representing KHK, Team Bahrain, and fighting out of the magnificent Kingdom of Bahrain, please welcome Shamil Gadiel! Shamil Gaziev from right here in Bahrain in white and red and boom it's on! The big difference being the weight Shamil 118.3 Pavel 107.7 If Shamil gets a hold of Pavel just as I say that could be very very difficult Pavel wants to keep this at distance and strike What an introduction by Carlos Kramer, by the way. The best in the business. Hairs on the back of the neck material right there from the big man. Filler's a myth in mixed martial arts. So you can tell heavyweights by who's got the better abs. Let me tell you, that is not the deciding factor. Shamil has Pavel Dalitko exactly where he wants him right now. Let's just see what Pavel has in the tank to separate. That's exactly what he wants. Needs to keep moving. Shamil looks hungry and it is feeding time in the cage. Dalitko done a good job of keeping distance. Good job of breaking out of that clinch. Got to attack. Oh! There it is. Huge shot over the top, but then a straight right down the pipe from Pavel. Dalitko fainted the hook, went lower than right outside low kick. It was a beautiful oh. shot down the middle from Pavel. That's the thing with heavyweights. It just takes one shot. Again, both, both these guys land them big shots. Pavel had the underhook loaded, but it was to no avail. Chavni momentarily puts Pavel down, but Pavel doing everything he can to get right back up again. Pavel up, has the back taken back though. Take. Standing Kimura attempt. Could see a big slam takedown. Trying to use the wizard now to turn in. And they try and clamp that down to try and create a little bit of space. Could be interesting if Shamin's plan is to take. Pavel into the deeper rounds. Sneaky little couple of knees to the liver there from Dalitko. Shamil has shown he can go three rounds. Did so in his last fight, June 2022. I said liver apologies, I meant spleen. Shamil now just forcing Pavel Dalitko to carry that extra weight. You're talking about in and around 11 kilos. And even at heavyweight, that makes a difference. Nice work from Pavel to hit the break. Had to ring out the arm, did you see that? He had to ring the arm out a little bit. That hand might be heavy. We are very close to explosion, Phil. These two are playing with the distance. Shamil has a very unorthodox style of striking, but it's working. I like it. The head movement's a little bit different. The fading, the pulling straight back from shots, very unusual. 
potentially can get you hurt, but it is working for him. A big unorthodox jukebox is Shamil Gaziev. You can see, needs to be careful just leaning right back with his chin in the air. But you can see Pavel's a little bit tentative after he throws because he knows that Shamil's gonna throw something big back. Lead leg is open to be kicked of Shamil. Planting very, very heavy on it. I wouldn't be surprised if you see Pavel throw a few leg kicks here. He's feigning with that hook. Shamil's head movement, excellent so far. A little bit unusually, he's even anticipating his opponent's shots, starting to slip them before they start. Very high fight IQ we're seeing in front of us. Right here, getting a little bit restless. Both these fighters so aware of the par, they both carry. You cannot be reckless in these situations or you will get knocked out. We say Shamil coming in with that eight and oh perfect record, a former IMAF world champion. The big man with a spinning back fist. And a beautiful slip. What a way to finish the round. Any question in your mind, Phil, about who won that round? I'm going to it was right up until the very end. I was potentially, I was very much, not 100% sure, but Shamil with the clinch, he landed the big shots, he got the takedown, he landed the spinning back fist to finish. I would think if I were one of the judges, which I'm not, it must be said, I would be looking at a 10-9 Shamil. That's how I see it as well. Greater initiation overall for the striking, greater success with the striking, greater initiation and success overall from the grappling aspect. And an added little wrinkle of this fight, here is the fact that Pavel Dalipo has never gone to a second round in his professional career. And if you're gonna do it for the first time, why not with somebody who's an absolute colossus like Shamil Gaziev? Aaron Wallace looking like a relatively normal sized man for the first time in his life. Now he knows how the rest of us feel. Again, that head movement, that awkward, almost twitchy style of Gaziev. There's those leg kicks. Lead cool, nice, really starting to invest in those leg kicks. That head movement is so awkward, but wonderful to watch. Brave Nation, there is a distance where it's very hard, to, you're close enough, it's very hard to see the punches. Oh! oh! He stiffed him! Mercy, mercy me, it's Wow! It. It's over! What a knockout by the behemoth! Shamil Gaziev. Power incarnate. Aaron Wallace giving Pavel Dailiko every opportunity, but oh, boom! What did we just see? Beautiful body shot. Got the attention low. Monster. A left hook up there to the button, and then a very casual. Walk forward, couple of shots, drop to mount, and finish it! That was, let's see that shot again. Timber! Oh. Like cutting down a tree. Down goes the giant man from Lithuania, Pavel Dalitko. I should add giant and valiant. What a show of respect going over to his fallen foe, but Dalitko back up on his feet. Little unsteady. Somebody may want to lean that gentleman up against the fence for just a bit. Oh, I would watch that shot over and over again. Right on the money. Welcome to Brave Combat Federation, Shamil Gazir. Wow. 
Wow. Just wow. Brave combination, Brave Combat Federation. Fans, please keep staying right here. There's going to be more action just like this. That was absolutely huge. As you see, Pablo Bike on his feet, cognitive once again. Arn Wallace calls the fighters to the middle of the cage. All right, Brave Nation. This battle comes to an explosive end at 46 seconds of the very second round. Your winner by knockout from KHK Team Bahrain, Shamil Gaye!